So my name is Abigail Wolfgram. I'm a civil engineer and I have two years of experience. Uh, one of my favorite aspects of my job is how much variety is bundled into it. Any given day I could be designing and calculating or I could be writing or drawing, <laughs> interacting with clients, interacting with the public, um, interacting with my teammates. Uh, there's just a lot of different things going on that lets me use a lot of different skill sets. So I, I chose engineering initially in high school, but not until my junior year. Like I think many, particularly girls, but uh, kids in general, I had no idea what engineering was. Um, I don't have any engineers in my family. I, I didn't know of any engineers in the community. Um, and I really had no idea what the word really meant. Um, I, of course, had heard of engineering, and I knew kind of, oh, building things or creating, problem solving, and you know, I had heard, oh, engineers like to play with Legos and you know, little things like that. But I didn't like Legos. I liked Barbies, and I uh, really didn't fully understand the the word. So one day, uh, my sister randomly, who is an English professor, uh, randomly sent me a book on women in engineering. Um, and reading through that book is what kind of opened my eyes to all the different things that an engineer can do and what that word can really mean um, in so many different senses. And that's when I started to look into it and decided to give it a shot. And here I am. So my specialty within civil engineering is multimodal design and urban streetscape planning. Uh, so that's looking at how can we combine one space uh, into allowing users that are in cars and bikes and walking and adding trees and plants and making it a space that uh, is very collaborative uh, rather than just a traditional roadway. Uh, so yeah, a little bit more about my day-to-day -day positions. A lot of times I have one of two roles on a project. Um, if I'm helping with the design um, as a junior engineer in my first few years before I have my professional engineering license, um, I'm usually working with someone more senior. Um, and we're working together to hear what the client wants, the person who owns the project, what they really want us to do and what they want their final result to look like, and combining that with um, the standards and the tested methods of people who know really how to do what they're doing and what they're doing, and then add in that last piece of a little bit of creativity and problem solving uh, to come up with the best possible idea of what we can do. So sometimes that comes in the form of um, reading through previous uh, examples or standards. Um, other times that comes from talking to people with experience. Um, again, sometimes there's a lot of writing involved, and then other times it's drawing and calculations. The, the moment I knew that engineering was right for me and fully confirmed my decision, I uh, was at my first public meeting. Uh, so throughout a design process and creating these projects, uh, you have to take it to the public to make sure that they're okay uh, with the design and to see if they have any inputs, because again, the more heads together makes a, <laughs> makes a better product. Um, so at my, at my very first public meeting made me really understand and realize how many people are going to benefit from the work that I'm doing and how many people truly care about all these projects. Um, even some of the smaller projects I've worked on where maybe adding a sidewalk doesn't feel that significant, but to the people that live in that neighborhood, that's huge and where their kids can ride their bikes and they have a lot of thoughts and feelings and opinions on how this project should be done. It makes you really realize how many people will benefit. I see my work everywhere I go. I've, I grew up in a city, I live in a city now, and I'm uh, very used to elements of engineering all around me. Uh, so just walking down the street, 
I'm on the sidewalk that an engineer built. I see people driving their cars on roadways and pulling up to intersections that have been designed and configured and signal timings that have all been done by an engineer. You know, I walk past a plaza where there's uh, greenery and a rain garden, there's stormwater retention, um, more things that engineers have done. Um, plazas where you can enjoy performances and your lunch outside. And even the, the most obvious things, the buildings that are in these uh, urban environments, all of this um, is engineering. And that's just on the surface. We haven't even gotten to underneath the road, the, the sewer line and the storm water and the geotechnical columns and piles that are holding these buildings up. Um, all of that comes from what engineers have done. And if you're interested in building an urban development that people of all ages and ethnicities and backgrounds can enjoy, then you should be an engineer. So for my favorite project, I don't necessarily have one specific project that's, I have more of my favorite types of projects. Um, but one part that's a little bit different than probably what most people, I really enjoy working on proposals. Um, so I, I like the idea of in a proposal that you're taking people's ideas and turning it into a story that you can really sell to the client to help them see the potential of their project and the results. A proposal is basically an advertisement for your, for your abilities and your services. So when the client or the owner wants a project to be done, wants to construct something or build something, make something, uh, they need people, engineers and architects and everything, everyone else that helps in a project uh, to work on it. And uh, for the proposals, we're telling them our ideas for their project and why we're qualified to get the work done for that project. So the, the skills most important to, to my job are definitely communication um, would be number one on the list. Um, a lot of times people when they think engineering they think of you know the stereotypical nerd in a corner just crunching numbers um, and in reality there's, there's a lot of teamwork within your company um, and a lot of interfacing and talking with the client to make sure that you're both understanding what the other one needs and wants um, and creating that awesome end result.